John, what are you doing way down there? Well, hey, we're uh, we're down here in Sasabe, uh, Arizona, about to cross the border into Mexico to go mule deer hunting. And I'm uh, just making some last minute buys and preparations to get across the border here with our guns. Make sure our serial numbers match here. We're gonna double check our paperwork and everything so uh, we don't run into any snafus. But hopefully we'll be hunting mule deer real soon. Hop in and let me know where to cross over here, okay? Well, it looks like we passed. We're gonna be hunting mule deer in the morning. One more checkpoint in the military. Oh, yeah. El Rancho del Gringo has formed an exclusive private hunting club and they're not outfitters, nor do they sell mule deer hunts to the public. I was invited on this coveted hunt as a guest within one of the groups in the hunting club and one of our Fierce Firearms customers. Just getting ready for our mule deer hunt in New Mexico and um, man, we've got, I'm hunting out here with my Fierce rifle and on this one, I put a, a thumb hole stock on it. And the reason I did that is I like thumb hole stocks for the fact that they're quick um, and you have a lot of control. And out here in Mexico, a lot of stuff happens very fast and you need to be quick on the trigger. And, um, you know, when you're on top of a high rack or wherever and you're trying to get on a buck running through the brush, it's pretty much offhand shooting. And for me, with a thumb hole stock, I can control my gun a lot better. And so I brought my rifle down with a thumb hole stock on it, shooting uh, Hornady's new caliber, the 300 PRC. So hopefully we can put one of these big muleys down, but we're shooting long range right here, right off the back deck of, uh, of the lodge. And we just, you know, just verifying the rifle, 200 we're dead on, for, or 500 we're perfect. And so now we're gonna try a 1,000 right here. So Devo, do you see that yep. line in the hill out there? Hit it. It's long range. It's got made too easy nowadays, hasn't it? <laughs> You can't say that on oh, do you got me on film? Well, there you go, a thousand yards. Tell you what, man, if you've got a good rifle that shoots extremely well, like fierce and good optics, and you know, you've doped your rifle with your velocity, all that good stuff, uh, this long range shooting, I'm not gonna say it's easy, but it becomes a lot, a lot more simple. And so right here, I made first shot hits on my 200, 500, and 1,000 yards. Three shots, three hits. So I think, I think a mule deer's in trouble if we can find one. And the key is if we can get one to stand still because I'm, I'm not that great on moving targets. <laughs> That's what we're doing. We're in old Mexico and it's about to get real right here on the Fierce Life. Well, Alan's got a lot of big bucks for us to choose from. Now we just gotta find them. <laughs> Look at these things. This shows you, it shows you what good management will do though. Yeah. If you get some of these ranches and don't so know that's super them, huge for the same thing, I think I got it in 190, 195. Yeah. I think it's a buck, like I said, that we cannot, not pass, you know. Yeah. No. Huge front forwards. Yeah. Jeez. Dang. That's a good buck right there. He's, what do you think, Riders 175, 180 type buck? It's just a little compact, a little narrow, but he's he's heavy. And he's got some cool, cool stuff going on right there. So the first morning, Bert. You gotta keep it's looking. A, Deer. 
try and call in a buck right here. Mexico style. wasn't quite big enough, but man, he came in looking. A, a nice buck, just not quite what we were looking for, but man, I was a little skeptical of that call. Haven't seen it used before, and sure enough, it uh, that buck came running from several hundred, I don't know, maybe half a mile away. He was a ways out there. The guy saw him coming in, as you saw, he had his tongue out. He'd uh, been traveling, but that fawn in distress, usually those bucks think there's a doe around, and so that's what gets them coming, so. Cool stuff, but Devo, I think you're pointing at the sky. There you go. <laughs> well, day one is pretty much over, and it's been a fantastic day. We've seen some, some great bucks. We've seen a lot of deer, um, a lot of nice bucks. Uh, a couple of real close to being shooters, but not day one, so. Fantastic time here in Mexico. Hopefully day two is uh, even a little better, so we'll see what happens. Well, day two, we're about to get up in the high rack. It's another morning of 28 degrees, so it's going to be nice and chilly, but uh, as long as we find a big buck, it doesn't matter. First buck sighting this morning, nice three by four. 100 yards off the road, that'll get your blood pumping right there. Range it, Jeff. How much? 190 bucks. We will shoot these bucks. You got them camera? You got them camera? I got him. 370? 370. Nail it. Good. Good shot. Is he down? Yeah, he's down. Hold on. No motion. Stone. Dirt yep. nap. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, baby, old Mexico. Boom! Dirt Nab City. 300 PRC, yep. baby. Boom! Holy crap, that was incredible. What a buck. It is. Holy great buck. At first, I thought he was a big three, but that front is huge. It's huge. Oh, my. And I bet through the skull, you can see it way better than what it is. And we got him to stand still? Yep. <laughs> Judd, how does that happen? Just, Not very often, just no. got a whistle just right. Yeah. <laughs> I like that buck. We should shoot some more of those. <laughs> yeah, we got him on film. He's uh, I, he's got extras and he's probably 30 wide. Oh, oh my God. That's my guess. This is he'll, he'll be awesome. Oh, man. Woo! Look at him, huh? Wow! Big old wide buck. Split. That's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. This is this is what you dream about when you come to Mexico, right here. Just a big old wide. And I'll tell you what, I'm an eye guard guy. I love eye guards, and this one's got huge eye guards. He split, split up here on his front. Got great mass. Yep. 
Well, hey guys, here we are. You just saw uh, an incredible old Mexico mule deer hunt. We're here with our good friend Judd Ball and Alan uh, Mendez here. Okay. But Judd, you're kind of the mastermind behind uh, I'm managing far, like this. I'm far from the mastermind. We're just here. <laughs> Mendez does all the hard work. We just put our ideas to work and Mendez implements. And some great ideas. Out. You've hunted down here a lot and, and you obviously saw that the genes and the genetics and, and Mexico has some of the biggest mule deer in the world. Old Mexico, this buck here is just a absolute dream buck for me. And uh, thank you guys very much for having us down. And man, we're living the fierce life right here. So we got a few more days to kill. So we'll see what, what other trouble we can get into, huh? <laughs>